for following up on that bombshell with our third and final yearbook edition. Let's throw it over to Supermassive Games and Behavior Interactive for a deep dive into <sighs> the casting of Frank Stone. Hearing Roger Clark say the casting of Frank Stone. Oh, it sounds so good. Having Arthur Morgan and Tifa Lockhart moderate the show in general is incredible. From the minds behind Dead by Daylight and the Dark Pictures Anthology, please welcome the casting of Frank Stone into our future game show Wants to Watch Yearbook. This single-player horror adventure lets you define your own story in the expanded world of the iconic action horror game Dead by Daylight. Players follow an ensemble of intrepid young filmmakers as they set out to film their own home movie at a murder site steeped in tragic history. Prepare to be posed with fate-changing choices, challenging puzzles, and death-defying QTEs as you guide the cast through eerie environments and shocking we all twists, know that so far. dodging grisly deaths along the way. The casting of Frank Stone is coming to PS5, Xbox Series S and X, and PC in 2024. And to give you a closer look at this exciting collaboration, let's throw it over to our friends at Behaviour Interactive. And still and no official date! Games. I mean, we know it's this year, but come on. Better footage. For the longest time on Dead by Daylight, we knew that we wanted to offer different types of experience to our players. And a single player narrative experience is definitely one of them. And our fans have been requesting it quite a lot. So obviously, super massive games with their pedigree, their portfolio of game is the perfect partner to deliver that fantastic horror experience. The casting of Frank Stone is a classic. I mean, it looks like cutscene still. So it's not like gameplay, you know. Game. Wait, I'm coming with you. It's an unashamed horror Steve, good experience. See you. It's a story that Please we've been thinking around for quite a long time, and it really fits the omniverse idea that underpins a lot of the Dead by Daylight lore, and so it kind of slipped together as a very natural fit. It all starts. It does fit really with well. The storyline, which is investigation of a missing child, which leads us into a very dark, quite grisly serial killer horror story. But as the story unfolds from there, things go in different directions, mm. and we bring in a lot of different subgenres of horror. Oh, that's that sounds intriguing. To the boy you're looking for. The main influences were always to try to be domestic, something you could actually believe happens, something that you can understand, relate to. At the same time, part of it you don't understand, and it creates a, a, a mystery. We're always going back to the. I mean, to be fair, if I think about any super massive game, characters could Eddie actually happen like that? If anything, the devil would be. And eight, uh, at the same time. Oh, she's new. I haven't seen her what? yet. One thing we really latched onto quickly was the idea of how a piece of creative art could become a vehicle for horror. And in our oh, case, so it's oh, film, that would be so cool. Made by a group of teenage characters on the site. Getting like VHS footage, like in Blair Witch Project. Um, that felt like a vehicle where oh, yeah, we could bring in other influences of horror that we really like. Either of you heard of Murder Mill? Right at the start of the project, talking with Supermassive, we connected mm. because we're passionate about horror. And that was a cool look at the killer. Get I like that. inspiration from the same sources. So it was great talking with them and seeing that a lot oh, of the and here sources he is, for inspiration like, they're using. It have kind been of looks like it got ripped looking apart, into, like at the genesis away. of Dead by Daylight. So in that sense, our fans and also new players that will experience oh. this can see that okay. both titles that are look from the same lineage. So for fans of supermassive games that still haven't stepped into the fog of Dead by Daylight, this is going to be a great first step. Come on, people. We got a movie to make. Hmm. I will say it like this. The fact that we still don't have an official release that is kind of concerning, though. And the fact that we're only showing better footage. The casting of Frank similar Stone is coming thing. later this year. And with that... We've wrapped up our ones to watch your book for the summer showcase. Go take. Once again, big fan of seeing Roger Clark and um, what was it, Brit? Oh, I'm not too familiar with her, but I know she's Tifa. Um, okay. So from the new information we just got, I must first of all say that at least, like, if we look at it visually, there were some little Easter eggs and glimpses and whatnot, but just from like pure food, if, if, teaser footage and all that type of stuff. I wouldn't be able to tell 
that this is based on Dead by Daylight. That is something I need to say straight up, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, by the way, let's go to the main video again. Okay, so I have the separate video now open again. There were some little nice behind the scenes type of looks that looked very intriguing. Um, also, I'm not too sure what this could be. But imagine it would be like a choice type of uh, layout, like this is how the choices go, you know, there's like a main choice and then there's like several directions like that, or maybe something entirely different, I don't know. Um, but there were definitely some little things you could see in like the behind the scenes that definitely looked very interesting and like already very promising. Um, what I would like mention say though is the fact that if it wasn't like hyped and promoted as... Super uh, Dead by Daylight game by Super Massive Games. I wouldn't be able to tell you because neither the characters we've seen so far nor anything else really makes you think. Okay, this is Dead by Daylight or this is something Dead by Daylight related. Again, they could have made it extremely obvious by picking survivors from the game. Yeah, from Dwight to uh to to Fangmin to to whatever you know, just some casual um non-licensed survivors and whatever and also just make the killers you know uh, those from the game the the original ones like huntress or or billy or trap or whatnot this is not the trapper by the way many people thought okay frank stone is just going to be a a skin for the trapper but no he is his very old thing and i like mentioned still believe he will be released as a new killer in the end of the year in december which is going to be an original chapter which is again why i also still think that this is around the time when this will release like mentioned we're still six months away from the end of 2024 so we still have some time but the fact we still don't have a proper release date plus you know this is still better footage I really hope we won't be getting a big yeah, sorry I'm actually putting it uh, into 2005 and um, later this later this year. Um like I mentioned there were some cool fresh new looks that definitely look new. Um like I mentioned the premise with teenagers with cameras looking to, you know, find a missing child. All cool and all and everything will be going south. Exciting. Yeah, they did say, yeah, you may think at first, okay, this could be something that actually could happen is realistic, and then later on, that doesn't, you know, isn't the case. Very similar, honestly, to any Super Mass games before. The only one you could actually somewhat imagine would maybe be Man of Medan, because it's technically all in imagination. Um, and the Devil and Me, with all the things that you can do in there, you know, it's not as supernatural as, like, House of Ashes, or Unto Dawn, or the Quarry, um, the monsters. But yeah, this wasn't like now a too deep look, there's still obviously a lot of questions left and still a lot they could show and a lot they could still be giving us. Um, I mentioned it looks promising, I'm very excited for it. I'm the type of person that like mentioned only needs premise and the studio and I will be buying it. Yeah, it's a super, it's a game by Super Massive, okay, this is enough for me to buy. What we've seen this far is very exciting, um, the better footage looks good, the characters look f fun so far, um, but obviously there's still, you know, you need to play the game to be able to properly judge it, yeah. There's just still so much more um, writings left on the wall that we need to read to be able to actually properly judge all of this. They look very pretty, I like the characters designed thus far. Um, so yeah, it's it's just pluses all around. I mentioned I'm a big fan of the design of Frank Stone. Um, he, like I mentioned, reminds a lot of people of the Trapper, which is honestly only because of the mass, I think. Otherwise, he definitely looks very different. I'm also like, intrigued to see, you know, if he's like an actual um, normal human being or if he's something entirely else. This was a cool shot where you could actually see a bit behind one of the choices, questioning. I'd like to ask you some questions. Isn't this the policeman, though? Are we going to be playing the policeman? Just you and the dog concerned? Hmm. Huh. I guess we'll see. Um, but okay, that was a nice little bonus look onto the casting of Frank Stone. Not too much new uh, released yet, or like, not many too new information. This is like, which looks pretty intriguing, though. Again, I think, honestly, though, the less we know, maybe the better. Again, the premise is all I need. All I need to know is it's a super massive game with that by Daylight influence. That's all for me to buy and pre order and everything. Um, I'm very excited to play it later this year. It's definitely going to be my ally probably later this year, alongside Unto Dawn. Um, I'm probably also going to be the best performing playthrough on this channel for the year. Um, so yeah, Devil Over Deep Dive. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I'm intrigued to see more and I'm obviously very excited to finally play the game later this year. I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts and reaction. i see you soon um, on...
Tuesday with my Ante Dawn versus the Quarter video. I wanted to do it on Monday, but we have the Ubisoft Forward um, show there with new info. So that was out also in the sense of So look forward to that. Tuesday, we got Ante Dawn versus the Quarter special video. I'm so happy with how it's turning out. It's nearly finished. Please check that out on Tuesday. <clears throat> Other than that, have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you soon.